Hey everybody, JB back with you once more for another episode of Walls of CCLP3. It's been about a week, and I'm sorry for the lack of videos lately. I've been kind of a little bit occupied just trying to transition with the job situation and everything. But thankfully, things are wrapping up at the old job pretty nicely, and uh, I wanted to get a video out tonight, so I figured I'd do some recording. I'm probably going to be sticking for now with about an upload schedule of two videos a week or so if um, that ends up working out uh, with uh, everything else going on and I think it'll probably be the best paced for now while I'm getting everything all figured out with the new the new job and just everything going on with that so anyway just thought I'd give you all a heads up on that I mean I guess I've already been uploading twice a week anyway but anyway let's go ahead and start with mech party today all right uh, Okay, so I can't, yeah, I cannot get that, well, can I get the block there? I can. In fact, I think I have to, because there's no way to get the glider up there that I can see. Mm -mm. So let's do this. I think we have to position this in a, an interesting mm -mm. way here. And then I need to, like, race this. Mm. There we go. Okay. There's a teeth on an exit. Hmm. I wonder if I'm going to have to exit through there, or if that's just like a fake... Oh. Hi. Can I get out through there? I wonder if that's possible. I don't think so. Alright, let's... Uh, walls from Backtrack. Oh yeah, this is Backtrack, isn't it? Blocks next to Thieves hide red buttons. All connect to the tank machine below. Eight is the limit. Okay, so we have a conditional puzzle type thing. Also, that's not how you spell thieves, by the way. Um, you might want to correct that. Okay, block next to these hide red buttons. So these two hide red buttons. Um, I see a bomb here, and I cannot get the blocks there, but I'm noticing this, which is interesting. So I'm wondering... Let's try doing some stuff here with this. Okay. So this is what allows us to get uh, the fireball out. Okay. How do I get that? Ooh, there's slide delay. What's causing the slide delay, I wonder? Oh, the glider, I bet. Ooh, okay. I want to get this fireball out of here. I just, I'm just trying to figure out the best way. I guess I have to do that just because... If I bring this in, then I've pretty much forfeited my right to bring blocks out, right? Unless I limit it only to these two spots. I guess I could do that, right? Like, I could bring it into the trap button and then bring it out. That That is possible. We, we can do that. Okay. Let's give that a shot. I think that's probably our best bet. Now for the fun part, which is getting this thing to actually go down. Okay, let's just pick a direction and run with that. Oh, wait! That's the wrong direction! Ah! Okay. Mm. For some reason... I completely forgot that that would happen. I think I was... I had it in my head that either way was fine, when that's clearly not the case. This opening puzzle is kind of interesting. Like, I feel like it's sort of set up to trick you in a way. Like, you... It's almost like you're meant to think there's a more logical, less, you know, dexterity, race... Mm -hmm. oriented solution mm -hmm. if that makes sense okay let's do this first all 
Okay. So now, let's do this the right way. There we go. Thank goodness. Okay. So now let's get that. I'm going to assume that block goes into the water there. Let's look down here. We got two... Can I actually get this block out? I don't think I can. Okay, so let, let's play this out. If I go in here first and push this to the right, that's going to take two presses on its own, right? And then I go three, four, and then five, six, and then seven, and then eight. So I think that's good enough. Let's... Whoa, 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 I did not mean to do that. You guys got to see the Discord there for a moment. That time it was my fault. That was not the computer going inactive on me. Six. Seven. And then eight. Perfect. Oh, but now I have to get out. Oh. Oh, that's not good. I didn't realize that that was a part of the deal. Yeah, this level is kind of kicking my butt a little bit here. And we're only on 78. This is probably going to be a bit of a long journey. That's also the other reason why I wanted to only upload twice a week, is that I have a feeling that this set is going to get very difficult, and there's only so much that my brain can take when I've also got real-life stuff to be thinking about. Like, right now, I'm actually in the middle of writing a fairly long document at work to pass on to whoever is going to replace me. That's taken up a lot of energy. Like, a lot. <sighs> Come on. This is... This is just embarrassing at this point. I mm -mm. I can do better than this. I know I can do better than this. Mm. Alright, so we know we have to get back out. So we have to calculate 8, including an exit move. This kind of reminds me of the, the room in the original level that also involved mm, 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 mm. a fireball trap button thing. Okay. There we go. Okay, let's look at this again. Um, I see, I think I see a seven. Like, if I go here, I can do one... Then move this out of the way, two, and then I come around here, three, and I exit through here, four, five, six, and then seven, and then the eighth one will be when I get out. I think that's how it's done. Now I gotta, I gotta be very careful. This this is really nerve wracking. I do not like this setup here. Oh, pfft. wow! Wait a minute. Could I have done? Oh, I could have followed it here because this is. Yeah, I was being an idiot. Okay. This. Mm. Yeah, this is clearly not going very well tonight. I've been afraid to record because I know that there's mm. going to be a point in the set when I'm going to come to this kind of impasse. And mm. I wasn't expecting it to be a level like this. Like, this level does not feel like an extremely brain burny kind of level. This feels like a level with a lot of challenges, but because they're in a linear order, it makes it compounds the difficulty of the level quite a bit. And that's something that I feel like a lot of designers do not realize. Okay. 
Okay. Thankfully, we know how to do this now. That's the nice thing about linear levels, is that once you know how to do something, generally it's a lot easier to go through it in a subsequent run. It's just that going through it, you're still presented with like opportunities for failure as well, just because everything has to be strung along in that exact order. Okay. I'm just going to wait. I don't know why I think there's, like, space there. Mm. Why do I think there's space there? That's so dumb. Oh, man. Mm. I am very sorry, everybody. I... I, I clearly, my mm. brain's not all here tonight. Maybe I need to take a break from recording until I get past this, this point in my life right now when I have so much on my plate to deal with. After all, I mean, you guys deserve a little more than just a frazzled JB trying to make his way through this and stumble around a bunch. I haven't even been designing levels or optimizing or anything like that just because I my brain just cannot handle anything right now outside of work. I mean, I sometimes I get together with game nights with friends and all that, but that's a little more relaxing and low pressure than recording a video when there's, like, no one else in the room. <laughs> like, I, I seriously have anxiety about that, and I, I've i tried to placate that by doing this more over the years. It hasn't exactly helped. I'll, I'll just say that. Okay, that helped a little bit with, like, saving the chip there. Okay. So now I can go up here. I don't see any harm in doing this for now. Okay, what's up there? Mm. A red key. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I had to go... Oh, man, this is... This is gonna suck, isn't it? Okay, it's not bad. It's not bad. Interesting idea for an item swapper, though. I feel like all these recessed walls here at the bottom are kind of useless, though. Oh. I did not realize that that ice slide was going to lead right back there. Uh, I feel like I need to do this. Because if I don't do that, then... Okay, can I actually get those fire boots? Or suction boots? I don't think I can. Oh, the, the trap button. The trap button is meant to... Right? Yeah, okay. That's a really clever uh, setup there. Because I was looking at that and I'm like, there's no way you can... You can do that, right? Like, you can get the, the suction boots and then just slip right out. I, I just don't see how you can do that, and sure enough, you can. Okay, um, what are we doing now? I'm not even sure. Oh, here. Oh, I see. I needed to do that. I didn't even notice that. I was just kind of like, eh. Okay, what am I doing with this? Like, what's the... Oh, I see. I'm supposed to hit the... I'm supposed to clone stuff so that that... Mm. That teeth room can be possible. So I'm assuming this is where we go down here. Because we have not explored anywhere down here yet. Alright, I'm trusting that I don't need these boots anymore. Okay. 
I'm nervous about this. Like, I'm not sure what to make of this. This really scares me, honestly. I'm going to do this because I don't lose anything there. Yeah, that's what I was afraid of. That's what I was afraid of. I have no idea what that accomplished. Mm. <sighs> I should have counted the keys. I mm. should have counted the keys. This... I'm sorry, Josh. I'm sorry. I feel like I'm not giving this level a fair shake. I'm mm. really frustrated right now, and I'm too overloaded to even think mm. straight right now. Well, I'm, I'm going to get through this. I, I'm, I promise I'm going to get through this. I feel like right now I need to be playing a game that's like more mindless than CC, if that makes sense. To, to unwind. Like, this is just too taxing for me. I know that sounds like, to some people who are watching this for entertainment, that might sound like I'm just making excuses and ruining the entertainment experience and value of what I'm offering here. But... And I'm gonna kind of go on a rant here about how people sometimes engage with content creators. I mean, I, I think we have not had much of this, but I'm a little worn out seeing how on the internet so often people treat people who create t content like they're robots who just generate things for people's pleasure like you know you're here to serve me because i'm the audience and you know who cares what you might be going through like i that's one of the things about youtube content creation that i just cannot really stand is that the whole idea of like the YouTube algorithm to me just feeds into that. And like, I, I don't want my channel to turn into a, a content farm, you know, I, th I think, you know what I mean when I say that, like there's so much of these, you know, especially channels that just produce such dumb content just to get views and clicks. Like I would never want my channel to be like that. And that's one reason why I repeatedly say I'm a hobby channel. Because, to me, this is about just having a good time. And I think that's one reason why I don't necessarily operate on a fixed schedule. Um, like, totally. I know I say, like, I want to upload twice a week and stuff. But, at the end of the day, it's more... Like, I want to upload when I feel like I can operate at 100%. And, clearly, I'm not at 100% right now. So, I'm wondering if after I record level 80 or something, I should take a break. Just don't go any more after that. Okay, let's take a look at this. One, two. So, I have two. Okay. I need to think about this. Oh, I can slip through here. Duh. Wow, I'm an idiot. Oh my gosh, how did I miss that? That was so dumb. I'm freaking stupid. Okay, I'm going to assume this clone button is for the fireball. Yeah, it is. Come on, go down here. There we go. Finally beat Mech Party. It took like 20 minutes to get past that level. Oh my gosh. All right. Incomprehensible software. Okay, whenever I see a chip pattern like this, I get suspicious. I'm going to try not to get anything. Okay. So this is interesting. I'm seeing here that this is facing left, this is facing left, and then this is facing up. So what I'm going to assume... Oh, yeah, this level! I. Yeah, I remember seeing this at some point. And I think this... Was this the level that inspired Day 1 Inside the Bunker? Like, there was some level, I think, that inspired that. 
that involved this whole trap setup. And I want to say it might have been this one. It might have been this one. Okay. So at this point, I can theoretically just release this guy. Okay, I don't want to hit that yet, so... Why don't we just do this? So this uses the wall to obstacle course, by the way. Um, this is one I was very stumped on when I first saw this set. Just because it's such a transformation. Okay, so the middle one, assuming that it is for the glider. Let's plot that out. Oh wait, I would have to use this, don't I? Oh, that's not good. Um, I may just have to kill this. Let's just let's just do that. That way we have our path to the exit all, or the suction boots, all ready to go. Okay, so for you, where do I want to send you? Oh man. Okay, it's not actually that bad. The fact the f the fact that I have this all ready to go might actually be a blessing in disguise, because I can just send this down, and then it goes here, and then I can set up a a thing over here. Right. Like I can just do that to get the glider down. I don't know why I was going up there. Okay, so glider, you go down here. And then I'm going to have to use the glider to hit this button, too. Because that just goes straight up. I don't think the water holds any significance in any way. I don't think. Oh, man. I'm worried about this. Hmm. So let's say I get this chip, and then I have the glider go... Whoa, whoa, whoa! I did not mean to hit the mouse and have chip go that like that. I hope that did not ruin anything. Okay. Is this doable with, like, the stuff we have here? I'm trying to figure out a way that I can get this to go up here and then somehow I think we can use the, the force floors to do it. Maybe. Actually we can just go here and then like have it hit this chip and then go up. But from there I'm gonna have to come up with like a Okay, so this will probably have to, to work. And then Okay, I, I see how to do it. You do this, 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 and then I can then grab... Oh wait, no, I don't have to grab anything. I think this is fine. Right? Okay, that, that'll do. <laughs> that'll do, pig. There we go. Okay, do I actually need to get all the chips? Or is this a... Uh... I think we have to get all the chips. Well, maybe not. Hang on. It feels like there's more than 18. Uh, I, maybe not. Yeah, this is it. All right. Look around for a hint. I'm guessing it's through all this stuff. There's a hint right there. Walls from Obstacle Course. It's in the space of the teleport, which I think is neat. Alright. That is it for Incomprehensible Software. Cool level. Once Upon a Teleport. 
Oh no, I am. I'm worried about this. <laughs> this is gonna. Yeah, I. Wow, this is really interesting. So, okay, so that that is death. I was wondering if that would be death, and that's also death. Okay, so there's like really specific things you have to do here. kind of a bit of a memory element to this, which I can't say I'm the biggest fan of memory things, but thankfully this is not, like, really difficult. Uh, I think going down there would have been death. Yeah, that's also death. How did you get to this one? I'm trying to remember that. Okay, yeah, that's death. <sighs> I wish I could think better so my memory was not quite so short-term right now. Okay, there we go. So you go down there. Okay, that's, that's where you go down and it's death. I keep thinking that you have to go left there, but that's not the case. Oh, right, you go right there. So this is obviously once upon a troubadour. Okay. Oh, right, that's death. How do you get to that, that ship that's, like, right there? That's the one I'm, like, really curious about. So going up is where we need to go. And then I have to go up again, right? Yes. So I can go down. Okay. I don't want to go down here. I need to go... Oh, that's how you do that. Okay. Let's just be very careful. There we go. Okay. That's a cool little puzzle. I like the way that it's condensed. Like, that would not be quite as fun if it were larger. Okay, that's not too bad. All right, so we're, we're only like 27 minutes in. I, I should just keep going. Just try to see how long I can, I can do this. Okay, Chipyard. This is definitely a lot in life, isn't it? Okay, what are we doing here? Okay, so are there all these with gravel? Okay, I'm assuming I need to get to the key mm. ones, because all these glider ones are... Oh, hi! I didn't know there was a glider in that. Alright, good to know. So I only need three to get both keys. Is there any other use for these blocks here? No. Okay. So now... Oh, boy. Oh, wait. I can just trap you. Okay, that's that's fine. So I got, like, a whole bunch of chips, and there's 712 required? Is that real? I'm going to assume I need to take this glider somewhere. That seems to be a relatively safe assumption. Question though is where? That seems to be relatively safe as a bet, but I'm wondering if maybe I'm supposed to guide a block to there first. This is level 81, so I'm fully expecting like a brain burny kind of level here. Okay, I'm I'm a little worried about what kind of setup I've just created. 
like, and by little I mean a lot. This is mildly concerning. I'm going to just release this for now and just see what happens. I think we're fine, right? Yeah. Something tells me that I have to get a block. Oops. There I go again. This miss eyeing things. I'm I'm so sorry for this episode, everybody. I'm very sorry about this. I I feel like I'm I'm letting everyone down whenever I'm like this, and like as a YouTube entertainer under the uh, the premise that people are looking at me like that's all I'm doing here. And I know that that's not really like a complete picture necessarily of what happens on YouTube. Okay, so let's just assume for a moment that I do decide to go this way. So like, I go like this. And then the glider would go down here. to think about this level. And the fact is that there, there's gliders down there, and that's just as concerning. Like, if there were a way I could prevent... Well, actually, wait a minute. There might be. There might be. I'm trying to think of, is, th is there a way, like I could do something like this, where the glider can go on a path that's different. Oh, wait, except not, because this is here. Uh, why did I decide to play this right now? <laughs> I saw the clock, and I was like, 27 minutes, it'll be totally fine. Yeah, it's not fine. This is definitely not fine. Unless, you know, wait a minute. I just had an idea. What if you're supposed to get, like, both blocks used in this room? Like, one of, one of them is supposed to go into a bomb, and then the other one is supposed to go into this one over here. Possible, maybe? Question mark? Like, the way this is set up is, like, so specific. Well, let me start over again. So a lot of these little corridors are just completely pointless, which I, I think is really cool. I love the fact that you can't really use these like you did in the original. Okay. Okay. Of course, I'm again, I'm under the assumption, and it could be a false assumption, that, like, you have to get a block here first. And that could be completely wrong. So you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to treat this as a throwaway att attempt and just go ahead and send the glider down here to begin with. Just so I can see what lies beyond this. Like, what are we dealing with? There's so many chips beyond that. And there's no other glider that I'm seeing that we are using, so... seeing things and I don't like what I'm seeing. I, I'm wondering if I have to get a glider all the way over there. Let's just say okay, I got out of there. Is it possible to get a block? My instincts tell me no, just because that would be too easy. If I had two blocks oh no I can't even do that because this is here oh 
Oh, oh, oh. That's... Yeah. So I really do have to do what I was thinking of. That's going to be a thing, isn't it? Oh, man. This level. This is definitely a level that I feel like I would make. <laughs> <laughs> and like it's funny I feel like I'm a massive hypocrite for feeling really frustrated right now but like if this were a different day or a different week I should say when I'm not feeling so frazzled then I would probably be just having a ball with this like I would be going nuts trying to figure this out okay so clearly I have to get this thing Let's say that I do something like this, right? See, immediately, this whole situation here is problematic because I have to get like, I have to go down here no matter what. Like, I, I, I don't see any other way. So I have to get this. And either go over here to do this. Whoops, that is not what I meant to do. Let's practice for now. I think that's like the best thing we can do. Oh, except... Mm. Oh, wait, I can just do that. Or, <laughs> never mind. Uh, oh, I don't like this at all. So something tells me I need to like not get a chip here. Well, no, I have to, I have to, right? Because like even if I no, stop making my window inactive. Oh my gosh. Why, why does that need to happen on top of everything else right now? That does not need to happen right now. I'm, I'm so sorry, everybody. I'm, I'm so, so sorry. Alright. Let's just try to pick things up here. Alright, so... Let's... Let's run with the premise that we're going to go down this way. This is where things get really questionable, in my opinion. I mean, I guess you could, like, build, like, a zigzaggy sort of thing that goes up this way. That I could see. Uh, so let's say I did this. That still does not resolve the fact that this bomb right here is a, a liability, like a humongous liability. But, oh no, I can't do that either. I was going to say, if I can make a loop... No! The mouse, I clicked on it again because my finger was on the trackpad. That is... Th this is... This is turning into the Rage episode of this Let's Play. This is quickly turning into that episode. I think after this level, I'm going to be done. <laughs> no. uh, didn't Josh have like an episode like this around level 81 of my set? I think he did. 
because I put chicanery at level 81, and that was like the level that completely broke him. Mm. Which I'm actually kind of proud of, weirdly enough. It, it's like, I don't mean that in a sadistic way. It's just like, I'm always really happy when I can create something that actually like legitimately stumps somebody. Um, okay. So let's go through this again. This time I'm going to try to take fewer chips. And I say that and then I realize maybe I should have just... Oh no, 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 no. This was what I wanted to do. Okay. Okay, so that's the path. I think I want to do that. Okay. I don't like what I'm seeing here. I see a way that you can make this work, though. Maybe. Like, you could theoretically... Oh, wait, no. Because that would require that this get removed, but then I would need it later. I was thinking of, like, getting this chip up here. And then having the fireball go back, or the glider go back. I can't even tell what monsters what anymore. And then doing that. But then, yeah, I, I'm clearly missing something here. Something big. I'm just going to play this out just so I can visualize it, because I feel like that's going to help in the long run. I need to visualize what I'm doing, and I cannot, like, I don't have the mental capacity at the moment to do it in my head. Oh, what if you had to, like, use the block to do something with the glider? That would be interesting. And also really evil. Josh, please tell me that that's not what you're requiring here. Because I need one of these blocks... over yonder in the distance. That's... I really hope that that's not what's going on here. I really, really hope that that's not what's going on here. I feel like there's just something that's right in front of me with this, and I'm not seeing it. Like, you know what I mean? I guess if I needed to, well, I'm going to go ahead and just push this, but like, wait a minute, I just thought of something. Oh no, the glider would go all the way over, right? Wouldn't it? Maybe I can waste a block. Hang on a sec. Can I do that? And the exit's right there, too. Maybe the only way to do this is to waste a block. And not bring a block out here. For some reason, I thought you had to turn a block around out here and do a bunch of weird stuff. But now I'm wondering if that's even necessary. Alright, tell you what I'm going to do. Well, hang on. It may not be a great idea. I, I want to get rid of this right here. But now I'm seeing that that might not be a good thing. Well, and by this, I mean this, that bomb. Uh, how am I going to... Like, if I'm going to do this, it's going to have to be like a race against the clock. P 
problem I'm seeing here. Let, let me just try something real quick. Okay, so we got it in a loop. That's what I was hoping for for an initial state. And then I can just send it in to a... You know, there's that whole area there on the left I never even looked at. I bet that would have been really useful in calculating all of this. I don't know where the hint is, but at this point, I'm just so happy to have made it past this. Is it over here somewhere? No. I bet there's like a way to get to it with like an, if you had an extra block. That was a really cool puzzle. I know I've been like super frustrated and ragey tonight, but that was really, really cool. Well played, Josh. All right. Um, I'm going to stop there for now. Um... I think I have reached my limit for the night. We're at like 46 minutes and I need to take a, a rest for like a while in terms of mental recharging and rejuvenating after the week I've had. It's just been really exhausting. So I'm sorry that this episode was a little more stress heavy than usual, but I'm going to get back to this. Hope you all have an episode up on Friday. We'll see how I'm feeling. It may be another one like this, but I want to keep cranking these out to twice a week if I can and keeping you guys um, happy with the content I produce. So hopefully this was entertaining on some level. I'll see you all next time. Thanks for watching, everyone.